investigation and transcripts of phone conversation reveal the modus operandi of the drug cartel. The buyer is in constant touch with the seller. The buyer is made to shuttle from one location to the other and the final dealing takes place at a really crowded public area. It could be a cafeteria or even a local court. Hello? Hello, yeah. I want two packets of beef. Outside and at 7 p.m., okay? Hello, I am at the pub. Come near Fire Hotel. Okay, I'll just come there. Hello? Yeah, I am here at the hotel. Now come near Mayo Hall. Okay, I'll come. So they used to come, say to come us to a particular location uh, and uh, when we go there, uh, after again five minutes, uh, they used to call and give some other location. I think they'll be doing this because uh, they should make sure that nobody is tracking us or uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are a genuine uh, customer for them. It's clear the rules of drug peddling have changed. Unlike earlier, there are no specific locations where drugs can be bought. All business is done via the mobile phone. And peddlers change mobile numbers every fortnight. You know, I would meet these guys and these guys would tell me he was, he's selling there today. And I would run from one place to, the, to another. And um, then later on there were so many, I, I, I got in touch with so many other guys who were selling. And just a phone call away, you know. And these guys would switch phone numbers every, every 15 days or every 20 days. They are going to pubs, they are going to bars, they are going to cafeterias. There they are supplying and then they have got touch with uh, individual customers also. We have found the numbers of individual uh, customers. Some students are also uh, like, they are, they are also consuming, they are the customers. From hash to LSD and cocaine, the drug sale in Bangalore can go up to 60 crore rupees in a month. And what's worse, it's all happening right under the police's nose and is just a phone call away.